Hey there, do you ever struggle to express your dynamic ideas to others? If so, don't worry, that's why Protopy is here. This video will guide you through how to get started with Protopy in three easy steps. So sit back, relax, and learn. Step 1. Add Assets Protopy provides basic shapes, such as rectangles and ovals, but if you already have a design prepared, you can import them as well. Before importing, you need to install the Protopy plugin for Figma, Adobe XD, or Sketch. And then open the plugin in the tool that you'd like to import from. Just select what you want to import. You can select a small section of an artboard, one entire artboard, or multiple artboards. Then click the Import button. Hold on just a sec. Now you can work on all your designs directly in Protopy. The structure and the visual effects will also be imported exactly the same as before. As well as graphic designs, with Protopy you can also import videos, audio, and Lottie files. Before starting step 2, you need to know that every interaction consists of triggers, responses, and objects. If you understand this concept, then you'll understand how Protopy works. Now you are ready for step 2 building your interactions. Let's start with two layers. On the right-hand side, we have the interaction panel. Here, you can add triggers and responses. The interaction we want to make is, if you tap this rectangle, the circle layer will move. Now, click Add Trigger. Here, you can find all the triggers for your interactions. These include multi-finger gestures, web gestures, logical actions, native sensor triggers, and so on. Here, we only need Tap. That's all. The object of the trigger is the rectangle, so select it down here. Then you need a response. This will complete your interaction. If you click the plus button under the trigger, this shows you all the possible responses. You can choose to rotate in 3D, jump to another page, open a link, or whatever you like. For this interaction, let's select Move Response. This time, the circle layer is the object. When we tap the rectangle, the circle is going to move. Here, on the property panel, you can add more details to this interaction, such as the precise location of where the circle will actually move, ease in curving, time spent, and so on. And that's it. Now, let's see the preview window. Here, you can check what your interaction looks like. All right, it works. It's really easy, right? No coding, no hassle, no stress. You can also add more to this interaction, such as dragging the timeline to control the event order and duration of each action. If you want to make your interactions more complicated and precise, you can do that as well. You don't have to struggle to put your ideas into words. Just show them in action. Now, the final step is test and share. How? Let's find out. You can record the interaction in the preview window, or if you want to be fancy, click on the device icon. Here you have your prototype's unique QR code. Scan this code with your phone and it will be synced immediately. Oh, by the way, to see it with your phone, you need to download our Protopie Player app. But wait, what if your engineers don't have Protopie Player on their phones? Don't worry, you just need to upload your prototypes to the Protopie Cloud and share the link with them. This means that engineers can see your prototypes at any time and leave their comments, even though they don't have Protopy on their computer or phone. All right, now you've gotten started with Protopy, the next step is to open it and try to make some interactions. In the following tutorials, we will show you how to make high-fidelity interactions. See you in the next tutorial.